What's up everyone? This is Sean Rampersad here with the Land Ramp Mortgage Team at TMG The Mortgage Group. I'm putting together a series of videos for first time home buyers and this is uh, the step by step process that you're going to need to take in order to save the most money on getting a mortgage and purchasing your first property. So. Uh, the first thing that I think everyone should do is do some research online. I've put together a series of videos and blogs on my website as well as on this YouTube channel about the programs that are available for first time home buyers. Okay, so number one, there's the RRSP home buyer plan. So that's only relevant to you if you have RRSPs. So I'm not gonna go into detail on it, but the, you're allowed to withdraw up to $35,000. Uh, towards your down payment. And number two is the first time home buyer incentive. So give me a call if you wanna know if you could qualify or not for the first time home buyer incentive. But essentially the government will give you up to 5% uh, towards your down payment on a used property or 10% for a brand new property. Uh, so it's very significant. Um, but I will go into more detail on that in another video. Uh, the step-by-step -step process, uh, step one, I, I recommend to everyone is to get pre-approved for your mortgage. So you don't want to be out there shopping, your kids are excited, you're looking in a million dollar range or whatever it might be if you can only get approved for 500000 okay? Uh, obvious reasons is you don't want to be disappointed in the end and you don't want to waste time. Uh, your time, your realtor's time. Uh, your family's time, that type of thing. So make sure you're pre-approved for your mortgage prior to shopping, okay? Uh, step number two is uh, find the lowest rate in the best terms. I would find this early on in the process. Mortgage rates are changing every day. And if you lock in right at the beginning for a good interest rate, then you have the best chance of closing your transaction with a, with a good interest rate. Because the way it works is once the rates is gone, you can't get it back. So you lock in at a rate today on your pre-approval and if rates go down, then you get to benefit from the rates going down. If they go up, at least you're locked in. Normally we can lock people in for 90 days, but we do have up to 12 months, like if you're building a house or something like that, uh, we can lock those rates in for you. So give me a call to lock in a rate. Um, my number is 780-278-4847. Uh, next is you have to define your budget, okay? So if you're pre-approved to 500 grand and you know you want monthly payments of X uh, to be happening, uh, stick to your budget and uh, know what your payments are. You don't wanna be house poor, you still wanna have a life. Uh, so just make sure that, uh, that you stick to a very strict budget, okay? Uh, next is choose which area you wanna live in. So for example, Edmonton Marketplace, there's good areas, there are bad areas, same with Calgary, same with Red Deer. Um, doesn't matter where you are, there's good areas and there's bad areas. If you have kids, I would do some research into what schools are good, uh, what schools aren't good, and define the area that you want to live in, okay? Next, I would shop on your own. So in Alberta, we have, uh, uh, actually in Canada, we have realtor.ca and you could look at properties on your own before you contact a realtor to kind of get an idea of what you like, okay? So you might want the cupboards to be white. You might want them to be brown. You might want your flooring to be a certain color. So just make sure that you have an idea of what you're looking for prior to contacting your real estate agent. Next is uh, you want to define your specific property type, okay? Age, that type of thing. Like, what are you looking for? And get really specific uh, with yourself. This is your dream home, and uh, this is one of the biggest investments you're ever going to make in your entire life. So make sure you get what you want, okay? Next is choose a realtor that specializes in your product or in your area. Okay, if you don't have a realtor that knows uh, the area really well, you're not going to get the best deal on a property. Um, so I, I work with tons of real estate agents. 
If you want a recommendation on a specific area, a specific property type, that type of thing, uh, let me know and I can refer you to one of the agents that, uh, that I know. I know some really good ones, uh, the best of the best as a matter of fact. So give me a shout and let me know if I can assist you in any way. It's totally non-biased. I'm a mortgage broker. I have nothing to do with the, the real estate end. I just want to make sure that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. You get a good real estate. You get a good real estate agent and they will save you money. They'll get a better deal on the house for you because they know what the true values are for that area. So be really specific in what you want and ask me if you don't have a realtor that is awesome, okay? I know many of you will already, but uh, let me know if I can be of assistance. Uh, next is ask your mortgage broker and your realtor if they get discounts on appraisals, on legal fees, on inspections, that type of thing. Most good real estate agents or great mortgage brokers will get a discount on uh, the legal fees and that type of thing. They would have something pre-set up with a, with a lawyer or an inspector um, and, and get a discount for you. So you save a few hundred bucks here, you save a few hundred bucks there, it all adds up and uh, helps you pay that property off faster. So call me if you want a recommendation to a realtor or, or a realtor, an inspector or a lawyer, I will get you a discount, okay? Uh, next, uh, once you choose a property, you make an offer on the subject property, uh, subject to financing and inspection. Uh, make sure you're reasonable when you're putting in these offers. I, I know people like to do super low ball and think that they're going to get a great deal. Depending on the market, uh, right now you can't really get away with that as much. So within reason, you want to try to get a really good deal on a property and make sure you make your offer subject to financing and subject to inspection. That way, if anything goes wrong with the property or with the financing, for example, you lose your job or something like that, then you can get out of the transaction and nobody can sue you. So you're protected for a certain amount of time. Normally it's uh, like 10 business days, uh, the subject to financing or subject to uh, inspection condition is good for. That means within that 10 business days, you have to like complete your inspection, complete your financing before you remove conditions and the house is yours, okay? So make sure you put that in the contract. Uh, next, uh, your next uh, stage, you're in the pending stage. Uh, so you'll need to fulfill all of your conditions during this period, get your inspection done and get your financing done. So during the pending stage, it's kind of like a limbo stage. So normally for the financing part, we collect your documentation, we send it to the bank, the bank checks off on it, they call your employer uh, to make sure you're still working there and, uh, and then your financing condition can be waived once your mortgage broker tells you. So I'd be calling you and saying, okay, remove your financing condition, you're good to go, let your uh, real estate agent know. I also communicate with the realtors so that uh, it takes some of the work off of you. So give me a shout and I can, uh, I can help, help assist you in doing that. Uh, next is getting your inspection done. So I normally like to have the financing done before the inspection happens. The reason being is you don't want to pay $500 or whatever uh, the inspection cost is if your financing can't happen. It just doesn't make sense. It's like throwing away money. So make sure uh, your financing is in order and then do the inspection. The inspection can be the, the very last condition to fulfill and it happens pretty quick. Uh, you just have to have the inspection booked. Make sure the inspector has an infrared gun. Uh, I know they, a lot of inspectors offer that as an option. So you might only pay 350 with inspector A, but if they don't have an infrared gun and they can't tell uh, if there's leaking behind the wall or that type of thing, you're not doing yourself any favors. Pay the extra money. I've seen horror stories happen. Uh, so just make sure that there's no uh, water coming into your house uh, that, that, and that type of thing. Uh, next is signing documents at the lawyer. So I do get a discount on this. You go and sign off your final documents with the lawyer. Uh, you give the lawyer all of the money. So the mortgage brokers don't collect any money. The realtors do collect a deposit. Uh, so 
normal deposits, five, ten thousand dollars that type of thing. And that goes to the real estate office that goes out to pay out commissions and the remainder goes to your lawyers. So the lawyer collects all the money from the bank, from you, from everyone and pays who needs to get paid. And uh, then they give you a document called a statement of disbursements. And that's how you know exactly what happened with all of the monies that in, in, in the transaction. Uh, Next thing you know, uh, you need to do is ensure the lawyer and realtor have pulled title on your property. Please make sure this is done or call me and I will pull title on that property for you. Uh, there's a cost for doing it, uh, but the lawyers and the realtors uh, normally do do that. This will make sure that there's no liens on the, on the property that you're purchasing, because if there's liens, you are responsible for them. Normally the sellers are responsible and this is taken care of. The lawyers generally don't uh, release a, uh, keys to you until all the liens are paid off. But just in case, let me pull title for you and I can uh, let you know, okay? Uh, next step is you take possession of your home. So this is an exciting time. Sometimes people have movers set up and, uh, and you're, you move into your property like immediately. But what I recommend doing first is taking a walk through of that property, making sure everything's fixed that the seller was supposed to fix. So for example, if you put in the contract that they're supposed to put a coat of paint on them in the master bedroom, go into the property first, make sure it was done because the lawyer can do a hold back uh, of funds until things are done. So just go in and do a quick walk through of your property, make sure it's everything that you counted, you know, that, that you expected. Make sure the, they didn't change the fridge on you. People do all kinds of weird things. So who knows? Just uh, make sure it's exactly what you paid for. Uh, and finally, uh, set up your property taxes. Uh, there's uh, Calgary has a program called the TIP program. Edmonton has a program called the TIP program. But you can do, you can pay your property taxes monthly or you can pay it annually. I recommend paying it uh, monthly. It just, it's one less thing you have to pay for at the end of the year, um, but it's up to you. You can also have your lender uh, pay the property taxes for you. And a lot of people really like that because it comes out with your mortgage payment. You get used to that. So if you've liked the information that I've shared with you today, can you please subscribe to the channel? Um, it helps me to create more content for you. And also lets me know if the info that I'm giving you is of value. I wanna make sure that uh, everything, uh, all the information that I'm giving you is, is worth it. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. Call me anytime you have any mortgage related questions or real estate questions, period. I've been doing this a long time. I grew up in a real estate family and I am the most aggressive mortgage broker in Canada. So uh, we're really well known for getting uh, tough deals done and getting the lowest interest rate in the country. Uh, the way it works is the more volume a broker sends to a bank, the bigger the discount on the mortgage rate. So I get you those discounts and you don't have to pay for it. Uh, furthermore, our service can be a lot better than the bank. Call me 780-278-4847 and uh, subscribe. Thanks.